सो के फ्रेंड्स सो के फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर डूइंग अ लॉन्ग फंक्शनल ट्रेनिंग वर्कआउट आई टेल यू वाई फंक्शनल ट्रेनिंग इज सो गुड फॉर यू बिकॉज इट मैनेज इज योर ज्वाइंट्स एवरी सिंगल ज्वाइंट यू नो ऑफ योर नेक एवरीवेयर प्लस कोऑर्डिनेशन बैलेंस इट्स अ ग्रेट कार्डियो इज गुड फॉर लंग्स गुड फॉर रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम गुड फॉर इंक्रीजिंग द बॉडी इम्यूनिटी विच नॉर्मली यू कान गेट अदरवाइज Besides that, it gives me a feeling that I have done something because when you sweat, this kind of sweating. See, right now you can literally squeeze my T-shirt and a lot of sweat will come out. But one thing which I never used to do, and which actually damaged and hurt my body, I am learning now. Actually, I have learned now, and I'll tell you, it's very very important to cool down. There are different kinds of cool downs. I tell you the kind of cool down which I really love. Normally, after working out, get a cap so that no AC uh, air goes inside your ears. Wear a jacket which I don't have right now because I'm home and there's no AC, only sea breeze. But still, uh, I manage this. So what you can do is first stand still like this, Hatha Yoga, and get to squeeze your bums. Go straight, all your muscles straight it up, and slowly bring your hands here. People who do Surya Surya Namaskar, they would know basically about it. Take a deep breath, exhale, and go into this pose. And slowly elevate yourself from your toes, heels up, and stay like this for as long as you can. And stretch your back, body, everything should be stretched. Your bum should be squeezed. Your calves, your elbows, your hands, fingers, everything should be stretched. When you leave your body, you realize that it's really, really very good for you. After that, what I do is I put one hand here on the shoulder, one hand here, like you can see, and I go like this. Oh my God! That's my dog doing yoga. And I hold it like this for 20-30 seconds. Come back into this pose. Hold it here. And let me tell you, this is the best exercise for housewives, women who are standing working all the day because you bend, you bend to do cooking, to fold clothes. These are the areas: lower back and shoulder. Very often we think the If the problem is here, the problem is here. No, the problem is somewhere else because your muscles here are weak because you're bending the whole day, so they are not taking pressure, and all the pressure is going on your back. Similarly, if your guts, if your glutes are not uh, are strong, then the weight will come on your knees, which happened with me exactly. Now, after this, I go like this. One foot here. It took me many, many years to practice this. But I'll tell you, I found the trick. You keep the pressure from this foot on your thighs very strong, literally pushing yourself on the left side. And again, hands stretched fully. And I stand like this for a minimum of 30 seconds to one minute and one. Then I switch. Take your hands slowly down. People who do yoga know it very well. But. And keep your mind still, since I am doing it for the benefit of housewives and people who don't know how to do cool down. Therefore, I have to talk. Otherwise, I like absolute cool, quiet environment because not just the heat of your body should go out, not just your body should cool down, but also your mind, ears, eyes, everything should cool down, bring you to a state which is I call the womb state when you are in the. Room of your mother, how you feel. That's how you should feel. After this, I go as backwards as possible. This will not just stretch your back, shoulders, everything, but also all this will help.
and then again one deep breath exhale take your hands up and slowly come down and try to touch the ground it was very difficult initially but now i can very easily touch the ground and my objective is to go back take my head behind and relax and the next cool down actually my most favorite go up and just bend like this and hold go as down as possible actually pull this hand down so this entire area stretches come up And after this, go on your knees like this, and you sit like this, and close your eyes for some time. This will give you a nice stretch everywhere. Keep yourself straight, and then slowly bend down in a child's pose. I would like to do this like this. And then do this, which I did earlier. And then like this. This is called cat pose. It's very good for housewives and people who are working at home or sitting for a long time. And then you do Brijanasan like this. You can bend your elbows if you want, or you can go straight also, depending on how you want to stretch. And then straight away come to this pose and see, to show you, your feet should be on the ground and you should be, pressure should be here. You lie down and, and just do one more time a long push your cuts, your sorry, your glutes. This is a damn good exercise. It really is so good for women who work at home, people who sit on chairs for a long time. I used to have multiple problems in my back, but I cured it because of this great exercise. After this, spread your hands, go like this, head looking on that side. This is a lovely stretch, I'm sure you do it in your bed before sleeping or after getting up. But doing it a few times a day is really very quick because then you are squeezing your cuts and everything, you know. So this is from here to here, it's stretching. And after this, I like to sit and stretch like this. If you want, you can also do this, but for me it's not required right now. So you can do this, which will give you nice flexibility take them they should be touching your crotch and be straight and after this just go like this hold it for a long time as long as you can knees straight no bending of knees that's cheating and after this my favorite exercise which will bring my cool down to an end, which is, I hold, squeeze it tight, hold it so tight, and this is 10 on 10 exercise for your back, 
all the housewives, all the young men, all the old men. This is like a massage to your back. It rolls, it feels great. It gives a perfect massage too and a cool down. And in the end, I go like this, sit down like this for some time. It is also very photos and pose. At the same time, it takes out all the air of my body. And then you can sit this way, you can sit this way, you can sit this way, you can sit this way. And whichever way you sit, keep your body warm. But after sweating, it's not a great idea. Either you change your shirt, you can sit like this, you can sit like this, you can sit whichever way you want, you can sit like this, but just focus. Think. Who is thinking? Who is closing his eyes? Who is meditating? Who is that person? Is it Vivek who is meditating? When I go into deep meditation, into the space of this cosmos, is it Vivek who is going? Or is it something else? Is it possible for us to be away from the meditator? Can we make the meditator just go away? And for that I have developed a couple of techniques which I will discuss with you in detail and these are my unique original meditation techniques. There are one billion ways to meditate. There is no one way which suits all. In commercial world, we generally devise three step, three ways, but honestly, there is no way except for your way. You may believe that I am distracted since I am talking. But for me, it's a deep meditation. We can meditate while doing anything. Because this meditation, the purpose of this meditation is not to go into oneness with Mother Nature or with the universe. The idea of this meditation is to connect either with your body, with your family, your people, your life, anything which you care about, you connect with it. For me, right now, I am connecting with everybody who is quarantined at home and who is looking for new meanings of life, who is trying to discover new layers, new dimensions of life. Somebody who is willing to give up bad habits and adapt him or herself to new habits. Because whatever we are, we are a sum total of all our habits. Our nature is a sum total of our habits. Habits are formed with repetition. You keep repeating a thought, keep repeating something, it becomes your habit. And slowly we acquire good habits as well as bad habits. But to succeed, to reach the real divine movement, we got to get rid of all bad habits before that no 100% meditation is possible. How do you get rid of bad habits? If bad habits can be formed with repetition, then by that logic, they can be reformed or changed by practicing, by repeating something better. I used to eat a lot and everything, and I put on weight, I had knee problem, back problem, lethargy. I kept thinking for a long time, I tried everything written in the books, but then one day it happened to me, I got the idea, I said, if I 
get up late every day. I'll keep getting up late every day. So what do I do? So I said, I start repeating, sleeping early. And I, as a disciplined soldier, practiced it. For almost a decade now, I get up at 4.35. And that one quitting of one bad habit changed my entire life. It changed lots of bad habits, filled my life with better habits. I have miles to go, lot of work to be done. But yes, I have more energy, peace. And above all, I am detached mostly from most of the worldly things, Maya and more. I am seeking myself and trying to connect with all of you. I need your blessings, I need your love, I need your love. Oh.